I'm Johnny, cyclist, personal trainer and coach. Today we're going to go through a 10 minute foam rolling routine that's going to be perfect post ride to help kickstart your recovery. Grab your foam roller, a little bit of space and without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so let's start with the left calf. So left calf on the roller, supporting yourself with your hands and we're just going to work from the ankle slowly up towards the top of the calf, just behind the back of the knee. Just moving really, really slowly, no need to move very quick. We're just trying to find any tight spots, any sore spots and work on those. As you roll up the calf really slowly, you can roll side to side, a little bit painful, but as it's comfortable, just trying to find any sore spots as you go up. Feel free to kind of move back and adjust as you need as well. Still going up the calf nice and slowly. We're not trying to kind of warm up here, so we're not doing it really quickly. We're just trying to relieve any soreness. A couple of seconds left on this left calf here. Carry on working your way to the top, nice and slowly, and stop just before you get to the knee. We're only gonna go once up, don't need to do too much. Awesome. And we're gonna swap over, go for the right calf. If you do really struggle doing one at a time, because it's a little bit too sore, then feel free to support yourself more on your hands, or just kind of use the other leg to support on the floor like so. So again, starting from the ankle, working the way up, rocking side to side, nice and slowly. No rush again. If you find any sore spots, do kind of pause on them for a couple of seconds. Just wait for that pain to subside a little bit and then you can carry on. Unfortunately, with foam rolling, you've got to say, stay on the sore spots, which uh, isn't fun, but it's what we need to do. Good stuff, couple more seconds on this one, so keep working your way up. And relax there, cool. We're getting onto the left hamstring, so back to the left side, but underneath, just above the knee here. So when you're ready, let's go again. Again, we're going to start from the bottom of the hamstring, work our way up towards the heart. We always foam roll towards the heart because that's the way the valves go inside our arteries as well to help return the blood, flush any waste products we've got in there. So again, you're going to go for a minute on the left hamstring. So you can, again, kind of rock from side to side. Find where's most, unfortunately, most painful. Feel free just to kind of adjust as you need to. Slowly working your way up. You want to stop just before your bum. Hopefully though, if you're going slow enough, you shouldn't get there too early. Got another 10 seconds to go on this one. Slowly working the way up. Again, you can support yourself with the other leg if you need. And relax there. Go on to the right hamstring. So again, starting just above the knee. Overlap the legs if you can, if it's not too painful. Working your way up. So with this routine, obviously, we're concentrating until the last exercise anyway, on the lower body muscles, since that's what we mainly use while we're on the bike. Calves, hamstrings, quads, which we'll go on to in a minute, and glutes, we're all obviously using while on the bike. And we're gonna finish off with it upper back stretch and sort of chest stretch as well from being hunched over while riding. So keep moving nice and slowly up this one, this right hamstring. Again, reposition yourself as you need to. The hamstring goes all the way around the back of the legs. It's got a couple of muscles to it. It's not just one muscle. So work on the outside, try and work on the inside, find where's sort of most sore. A few seconds left on this one. And stop there. Cool, gonna move over to the left hand side again. We're gonna go for the quad. So we're gonna need to lay on our fronts now. So again, support yourself. This is probably be a little bit sore or more sore. So that right quad this time, support yourself with your other leg, with your hands as needed. This will be, as I said, a little bit more painful. Slowly working the way up the quad over the minute. So it might look like both of my quads are on the roller, but 
I'm focusing more pressure on one of them, the left hand side. Nice and gently. And the quad, as it says in the name, is made up of four muscles, so from the inside all the way to the outside, find where it's most sore, slowly working your way up. Three, two, one, and relax there. So we're going to move on to the other side now, the right hand side. Off we go. Nice and slowly again, no rush. This is a cool down. Trying to help reduce any soreness the day after, which foam rolling can do. Also help kind of flush any, hopefully you'll have done a little bit of a cool down on the back, but flush out any waste products that build up in the legs as well. Push them back up to the sort of heart to get rid of, or the lungs to get rid of. Keep it going. This is painful, this one. My right sides are more painful than my left, and you might find that as well if you're a little bit dominant on one side. Working the way up, just stopping just before you get to your pelvis. Three, two, one, and relax there. So we're gonna hit the glutes now. So again, we're gonna to go to the left hand side. What we're gonna do for this is just sort of lay on the side a little bit here. You can cross the legs if you want, like so, like this, or you can just kind of lean on one side, but bring the knee up to the body a little bit and go sort of from just where we finish with the hamstring, where your sort of sit bones are, leaning to that left hand side on the left leg and slowly sort of working up the glute just until you get to the sort of top of the back of the pelvis, the crest, the top of the back. Nice and steady. Again, you can cross the legs if you want to. Use this right leg as a support on your left arm. Leaning back a little bit. Where it feels tight. Is it more to the side, more to the middle? And change sides there. So right hand side now. So same again, support yourself with your right hand and your left leg if you need to. You can sit a little bit more upright or lean further back. You can even go onto the elbow if you want to. Again, there's no one best way. It's about where feels best or tightest to release, what works best for you. So again, just working slowly up towards that crest at the back of the pelvis and rock from side to side. Find where's best. Again, this right side's tighter for me. So I'm dominant, more dominant on the right side on the back. Three, two, one. Relax there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the foam roller just under our upper back, like so. So the mid upper back just before your shoulder blades. So you want your shoulder blades to be further back. And what this is allows us to do is hands behind the head if you can, or if you can't, support yourself on the floor. And you're just gonna extend backwards, trying to keep your hips tight, keep your core tight, squeeze your glutes and your abs, and just squeeze back and back up. Squeeze, those, squeeze the core at the top, slowly relax the core, and let the shoulders extend back. If you want to, you can put the hands behind the head and come slowly back as well. This helps just stretch out the chest and the upper back from being hunched over a little bit as we are when we're riding. Nice, slowly extending again. You can even pause at the bottom for a little bit of a stretch. Again, keep the shoulder blades above the foam roller. My shoulder blades are this side of the foam roller, otherwise you're not gonna be able to flex back too much. Again, you can support yourselves with your hands Got one more minute on this, and then that's us done. Playing around with where the hands are, where, where it feels best. And now I'm just gonna relax. I'm gonna keep my hands, elbows on the floor now, and just slowly 
try and drop down as far as is comfortable. Move the front roll around, adjust a little bit if you need to. Play around with where the foam roller is for the last couple of seconds. You can support your head with your hand, otherwise it gets quite taxing trying to keep your head up. We're nearly there, 10 seconds, and then that's us done. Whoa. Last little one, last little extend, wherever you're at. Oh, slowly come up, just use your elbows. It might be quite tight and well done. You smashed it. Do save this routine for after any future rides and don't forget to share it with your cycling friends as well so they can benefit from it too. If you want to know more about foam rolling for cyclists do check out this video here. It can be used for more than just recovery and there's a little bit of nuance to it when it comes to how to do it properly to actually get results. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ride strong and I'll catch you in the next one.